Hello Commanders and welcome to this video for Infinite Lagrange. Today we are here taking a city and you can see my fleet is already on the way and we did place a lot of scouts in the lower right corner. I really like the new option that we can draw arrows and stuff like this on the map. It makes organizing this so much easier. It is a level 5 city and um, you see we already started drawing out the fleets from it while my fleet is still transferring. Unfortunately I got a little delayed and I was not able to lock in in time. The city got a total of 910 defenders, 24 level 10 fleets so that is already quite a lot. and. Um, you will see I will go in there with my destroyer fleet. Now there will be a lot of things going not according to plan. Um, and we will see this very very soon. Um, let's take a look at my fleet first. You can see first thing that didn't go according to plan is I do not have all the ships um, fully equipped with fighters and corvettes. I thought my fleet was ready, um, I did send it out and when I noticed it, it was already too late, I would have not made it in time anymore. The second thing, I still think it is one of the best features of Infinite Lagrange and that is a pathfinding. Uh, <laughs> I will try now to get my fleet into position while we pull out all the fleets from the level 5 city. And you were just able to see it, um, my fleet bounced back. So um, thanks for that NetEase, um, really nice. Luckily I came in with full action points. So I could try it very very often to get my fleet into the right position. And I did need a lot of tries. You see it always stops before it gets to the point where I wanted it. Um, horrible. So let's make that video a little bit more fun. I already told you a few things that went wrong, a few things that I did wrong. Um, write me in the comments what you think were things that I made wrong, things that I could have done better. And the comment with the most upvotes will win a 50 US dollar um, voucher. So either via PayPal or Amazon, we will figure that out. This time we will not ruffle it. This time it will be the comment with the most upvotes. So thumbs up for whatever you find um, the most funny, the most accurate, the most embarrassing. Um, let me know. Okay, back to um, back to the video, back to attacking the city. So you see I'm now moving my fleet a little bit more to the left side, which would block the fleet from my alliance member. Therefore I will have to move it more to the right side as soon as this is done. And um, yeah, that is what we are doing here now. Important always is try to avoid blocking yourself. Um, yeah, it's very difficult to click in these areas, so don't block your team members, don't position yourself in a way that you will be blocked as soon as the fight starts, because um, all of this will just um, make your life horrible. I saw fleets running around a city trying to find um, a way to attack the city, and um, this took 15 minutes, 20 minutes. Um, the city was already taken over before these fleets settled down. If they ever settled down, usually you just recall them, then you just give up because yeah, it is a nightmare. Um, same as trying to click on a spacer to move my fleet a little bit more out of the way. Okay, so um, important things when you take over fleets, position your fleets around the city in a circle. Um, as soon as you pulled out enough of the city fleets, what you want to do next then is um, having one fleet attacking the city and um, as soon as this happens the reinforcements will start. So you should then try to attack every reinforcement fleet 
this two fleets. So we now trigger to attack on the city. Um, I'll speed that up a little bit so um, it will not take so long. You can see here the reinforcement fleets or the defender fleets. They are already setting up blockades. And these are pretty strong fleets, level 10. And um, my fleet is absolutely not designed to take on a level 10 fleet alone. Especially not as it is not yet fully um, set up. And even the reinforcement was missing. So you can see I'm losing quite a few of the frigates. They die very quickly. They just need to get hit once or twice to get down. Um, my front line was using just Carillions. And um, till now I'm still fighting that fleet alone. Because the friendly fleet that wanted to join me here unfortunately got attacked by the defending, by the um, blockading fleet. So um, you can see this was not intended, but I did kill or attack this fleet nearly the whole time alone with my corvettes. Um, for that, it did work pretty well. Um, I did lose all my um, all my frontline Carillions. So let's take a look at the report. Um, only lost one of the reinforced um, Stingers. We lost a few carriers, but not so bad. All Carillions, a lot of the Nomas repair ships. But um, if you think about it, I did nearly 1 million damage against the level 10 fleet, which is pretty nice. Um, the Nebula Chaser performed even better than the Cellular Defender in that case. Um, we have very high armor ships there as enemies, so um, that is um, an advantage then. And um, what else do we have to say there? I didn't even have the reinforcements set up correctly, so that was another little mistake you can probably point out here but um yeah then as soon as you can try to help your friends killing the remaining fleets and then when we got this it is time to reposition again in a circle you can see this in the northern part the fleets are already positioned nicely next to each other so that they don't cause a traffic jam you can also put your fleets now into the area where you kept it empty before to be able to pull out the enemy fleet so you got a little bit more space to place your fleets nicely in a circle so the, they do not um, yeah, jam each other anymore. And as soon as you did this you should see that you attack all closely at the same time so that not one person has to tank all um, the enemy fleets for a too long time but that you take one fleet quickly after each other. Now you will see I will not attack immediately because in my case I lost all my frontline ships and my repair ships. So I do have still a lot of damage left but I'm not <laughs> absolutely not um, capable of tanking another fleet level 10 fleet by myself. So you will see I'm waiting now till all the fleets turn in different directions. Um, before I click the confirm and um, as usual then my fleet will decide that we have to find a way to attack the city. Going directly to it would be too boring. So let's fly a little bit around first and then start the attack when um, everything is already going on for a very very long time. Again I love pathfinding in that game. It is amazing. We do have again very high armored um, enemies there very tanky ships so um, that's perfect for your energy weapon based um, DPS ships um, Xenos um, the Nebula Chaser B version these are really doing great against these high armor enemies and um, yeah then when you killed all the fleets it is just waiting for the city to go down to lose all its HP and um, 
during that time you can already start rebuilding what you just lost. Um, there's not really much more to do. So I hope you liked the video. It's not a real guide. I did make guides how to take over cities before, but I wanted to share how that went and what all went wrong. Um, give the video thumbs up. Leave me the comments. Um, let's see who got the yeah comment with or who will get the comment with the most um, upvotes um, in one of the next videos. Then we will call out the winner. And till then, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel, and I'll see you on the next video again.